the rat's digestive system. The first part of the rat's digestive system is the salivary glands. There's the parotid gland, the submaxillary gland, the sublingual gland, and last but certainly not least, the extraorbital lacrimal gland. First off is the bulbous-like structured parotid gland, which lies just beneath the ear and extends over the ventral lateral surface of the neck to the shoulder. The submaxillary glands are just ventral to the slightly larger parotids and are inseparable from the more anterior overlying sublingual glands. Last but certainly not least are the extraorbital lacrimal glands. These are the rat's tear ducts. These are easy to remember. They lie just by the eye, hence orbital. Here's a lateral view of the parotid gland and the extraorbital lacrimal gland. This ventral view really shows off the submaxillary and the sublingual glands. Now let's talk about the oral cavity of the rat's digestive system. If you need to review the rat's teeth, you can check out my previous video on the rat's skeletal system. Note, rats do not have premolars or canines. As far as naming parts of the oral cavity goes, it's fairly straightforward. The bony roof of the mouth is called the hard palate. The palate separates the nasal and oral cavities. The soft palate the tongue, the esophagus, and the trachea. And that's all you'll really need to know about the rat's oral cavity. Now it's time to discuss membranes and tissues. The coelom is the body cavity. The viscera are suspended within. The abdominal cavity and viscera are covered by a membrane tissue called peritoneum. The peritoneum is formed from mesoderm. We can recall that the coelomic cavity of evolutionary advanced invertebrates and vertebrates is always lined with mesodermal tissue. The peritoneum forms six membranes we'll be discussing today. Unfortunately, there are not very many pictures of these membranes because they are damaged so easily. The mesentery proper is a double layer of peritoneal membrane which extends from the body wall to the internal organs. The falsiform ligament is a layer of tissue which extends from the body wall and diaphragm to the liver. The peritoneal peritoneum is a shiny membrane which lines the body wall of the abdominal cavity. The visceral peritoneum is a shiny membrane which covers the internal organs. It's covering the small intestines in this photo. The greater omentum is a double-walled peritoneal sac which extends from the greater curvature of the stomach to the spleen. The lesser omentum joins the lesser curvature of the stomach to the liver. Time to summarize. Mesentery proper equals dorsal wall to the internal organs. Falsiform ligament equals ventral wall and diaphragm to the liver. Peritoneal peritoneum equals lines the body wall of the abdominal cavity, while the visceral peritoneum covers the internal organs of the abdominal cavity. The greater omentum equals sac that connects the stomach to the spleen. Lesser omentum equals connects stomach to the liver. Now we can finally discuss the organs. The organs that make up the rat's digestive system are the stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, liver, spleen, pancreas. The stomach. The stomach is a sac-like storage structure for ingested foods. The stomach is comprised of three different areas, which may look the same, but differ histologically. There's the cardiac portion. Note that the entrance comes from the esophagus the fundic portion, which is a large middle area, and the pyloric portion, which is posterior. The stomach opens to the duodenum through the pyloric sphincter. Just remember the folds inside the stomach are called rugi. The small intestines. The small intestines are divided into three parts, the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. The pancreas and small intestines secrete digestive enzymes that help with chemical breakdown. Small intestines are lined with villi that increase the surface area, thus increased absorption. The large intestine. The large intestine is divided into four different parts. The ileum of the small intestine opens up to the large cecum, which connects to the ascending colon on the right side, which connects to the transverse colon, and then, last but not least, the posterior descending colon. The main function of the large intestine is to remove water from undigested material resulting in feces, which are stored in the rectum and eliminated from the anus. 
The rectum is a continuation of the descending colon. The liver. The liver in a rat produces bile, which is necessary for proper digestion of most fats. The spleen. The spleen, along with the liver, remove old red blood cells from circulation and break them down. The products of the breakdown are secreted into the stomach by the spleen and into the duodenum by the liver. The pancreas. The pancreas secretes many digestive enzymes into the small intestine. Liver is above the stomach. Spleen is attached to the greater curvature of the stomach, the greater omentum. The pancreas is embedded in the mesentery proper and the greater omentum. I know that was a lot to digest, but that is the digestive system of a rat.